Welcome back to the channel and thanks for having a look. In today's video, we're continuing on with that hip transport heavy lift helicopter build that we've been doing from Team Yankee or Flames of War Battlefront uh, miniatures. And today, um, I'm just going to put some blue tack on the front of this helicopter. I've done part of it. Normally, we'd sort of do a whole one, but yeah, because we're down to one helicopter, if you've followed this series of videos, you know why we're down to one helicopter. But um, I'm just going to add some extra blue tack and, and the reason I'm doing it this way is just to show how you can um, put a camouflage pattern on without using a brush and not using an airbrush. So a lot of people um, have airbrushes but a lot of people don't as well. So if you're in that situation where you don't have an airbrush but you want a camouflage pattern on there and you don't want any sort of brush strokes on all, you don't want to paint on with a brush, this is what I do. So I just get some blue tack and I'll just work it with my fingers for a fair bit so before I start the video I was just playing around with it in my hands just to get it warm and soft and then I just sort of break it up a bit more and just roll it out a little bit just sort of like that and then I'll just pick up the helicopter and I'll just think where do I want those lines so wherever the blue tack is is going to be green so i'll just go around and stick it on and just anywhere i think i wouldn't mind a bit of green for the camouflage pattern and we're going for that sort of 80s afghanistan war but um, probably a, a, a pattern that could be used for uh, multiple countries. So it could probably be used for the Iraq war stuff we're doing too. You, this camouflage pattern that's going to be on here. Um, yeah, it could, could sort of be playable in, in either war. So just, yeah, just work my way around. Anywhere where I think would be good to have a little bit of green. But yeah, totally, you know, your choice. But yeah, it's more just the more just explaining a, a way to to do a bit of a camouflage pattern, quick and easy. No um no brush involved and yeah, yeah like without an airbrush um i mean i've got got an airbrush here but i just thought it'd be good to do a build and some painting before we do use the airbrush on other projects that we'll probably get to next year and i'm not too worried about the bottom here because we're going to paint this a sky blue color just for something different with um some of the helicopters that had that sky blue pattern on them and this blue tack being used here is blue tack that's been painted over before so i find that you um work it a lot of times before it actually needs to be thrown out so you sort of get a good use out of it even though this will be painted then it'll have paint through it and there's a piece here you can sort of see the paint through the piece on in my left hand compared to my right hand so that's just got specks of paint in it but um still sticky and still works so yeah you do get a lot of uses out of it so then we've got the blue tack on i'm happy with that and just have a look around it if there's any little spots you want to add a little bit more to sometimes i just get a little piece like a little tiny piece like that and i might just look around and go um, now I can't find a spot here I might just go just there I just want a little spot just there I think that would be a good effect probably in the area that we end up painting blue but it doesn't matter and then I'll just get an old paint tin or anything you've got a bottle lid so I'll just put a bit of blue tack on that and we've got this spot here that we've never got primed and got painted because we had it attached and I'll just stick that on there and we'll probably brush paint prime that part from the blue tag 
it's good, isn't it? So I just get that on there and I'll put it on an angle because the back's a lot heavier than the front. And now I've got that to that stage that now we can paint it. So I'll just bring in my very average little painting tray, which is, you know, terrible, but um, that's cool. That's cool, that's cool. And the color I'm gonna use, always put a, a, a glove on the hand that I'm sort of gonna hold the model with. And the color we're gonna use, the spray paint color we're gonna use is English Uniform. Um, I'll quickly zoom out. And that's gonna be our second color for that camouflage. So English uniform, bit blurry there. We need to focus. And most hobby shops will sell that. So here goes nothing. Always give your paints a good shake. And I did that off camera. I'll come back out. It's probably a bit easier to see. And once again, I do get try and get about that 10, 15 centimeters away. It's hard to tell on camera, but yeah, about that distance. And then I'll just start spraying the model. This is um, one of those times where I don't go for a real heavy coat. So I'm just trying to change the colour. And I promise we will get to the airbrushing um, models. That's about it, and that looks pretty good to me. You probably in a couple of spots it looks like there's still a little tint of that green. That's fine. So that's our hip team Yankee helicopter with its colour on it. Uh, the two camouflage colours that we're using for it and the previous video you see the, the green that we used. Um, that's it for this video. If you've got a suggestion for the channel um, and I've got it in stock, cool. I'll rip it out and start building it. We'll put it on the list. We've still got the Scud missile build going. So we've got the Scud missiles and the tails, uh, the transporters and, the, and this helicopter. So we've sort of got the two projects going now. So we'll start a third one. So I'll look at the list and see what people have requested. And um, we'll get that started hopefully today too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.